Hi, today we are going to compare the ProGrade CF Express Type A Cobalt card to the Sony Tough CF Express Type A card. So, let's see how they perform. Since Sony introduced the A7S Mark III and its CF Express Type A Tough memory cards in July 2020, it has been the only manufacturer to produce these types of cards, which are smaller, although somewhat thicker, compared to SD cards and significantly faster. Recently, we became one of the first to receive a sample of the newly released ProGrade CF Express Type A Cobalt cards for review, which are the first third party cards of this type, and we're going to put them to the test against the Sony cards using the Sony A1 camera in both stills and video modes to see just how well they perform. One note before we start ProGrade also sent us the CF Express Type A card reader, which we shall use for the computer transfer portion of this review. We do plan to release an extensive review looking at the performance of different CF Express Type A card readers from different manufacturers, so please stay tuned for that. Unlike the A7S Mark III, which has no limitations on still shooting with SD cards, on paper the A1 can only unleash its full high speed potential in stills mode via CF Express Type A cards. For our test, we used our Sony 20mm f1.8 lens with a shutter speed of 1 to 2000, manual focus mode with electronic shutter, high plus drive mode, shooting compressed RAW files, and got over 30 frames per second with both cards, although the Sony was not as consistent as the ProGrade on repeated testing and on occasion missed a few shots. For our test, and to our surprise, our fastest SD card, the ProGrade SD UHS-2 128GB V90 card, also got over 30 frames per second, at least for a short fast burst. Buffer clearing was a different story with the SD card, and while both CF Express Type A cards were super quick to clear the buffer, the SD lagged far behind, making it far less adequate for fast still shooting on the A1. Moving over to video, both the A1 and the A7S III can shoot in almost any type of video format and settings using the V60 and V90 SD memory cards. On our A1, there are only two types of SNQ settings which you must use a CF Express Type A cards, and these are both the XAVC SI 4K120 and the 1080p 240p. Trying to shoot in both these modes using our fastest V90 card resulted in the following message. As we have mentioned, we are not going to spend too much time here on testing read and write speeds using a card reader as we will have a lengthy separate review for that. But we did do a quick read test with our ProGrade CF Express Type A and SD memory card reader and we got the following results from all three cards. So, in conclusion, as you have seen, in terms of performance, the ProGrade is a little bit more consistent than the original Sony card, but for the most part, they seem to perform very much identically in our tests. While they didn't seem to have any edge over our fast SD card in short fast bursts of still shooting, they both clear the buffer much faster. Both CF Express Type A cards are also very well built with some metal parts for extra durability and heat dissipation. They are also both made in Taiwan and seem to be equally capable of shooting very high frame rates in SNQ video modes. We can't really comment on the long term reliability of both cards, but this is a factor you always need to consider, especially when buying these types of expensive memory cards. Talking about pricing, the new CF Express Type A Cobalt card from ProGrade sells for $330 for 160GB card, while the Sony 160GB CF Express Type A Tough card sells for just under $400. So that was our look at both these CF Express Type A cards. You can check out the full article on lensbay.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this. See you next time.